and cardiologist in New York. Today I wanted to share a little story with you. This is a true story, but um, I wanted to uh, share this with you because it will give you insight into what is really important when it comes to health, okay? Um, and why I think the healthcare system has got it all wrong. Now, I have a friend. Um, she was, I think, 50, 55 years old, and uh, she started complaining of uh, hip pain, all right? So because she was getting all this hip pain, she went to her GP, and the GP thought, oh, well, you know, try some basic painkillers and let's see what happens. Uh, she took some painkillers, and then uh, the pain went away for a few days, but then it started up again. And then she went back and she saw another GP who gave her some more painkillers. Uh, she took the new painkillers and uh the pain settled but then again she she continued to have more pain and she started feeling generally unwell and she was getting some side effects from the medication so she went back to another doctor and uh, expressed this and because she was getting very upset about it the doctor thought maybe she was also getting depressed so gave us an antidepressant and this um toing and froing continued for several weeks where she would go to the doctor uh, so almost three months, actually, where she would go to the doctor, she would be given some pills, she would come back, she would feel better for a little while, and then something else would happen, and then she would go back. Eventually, one day, things got so bad that she actually found that she couldn't stand up, and um, she therefore had to be taken to an accident emergency because she was in so much excruciating pain. And there, for the first time, someone did an x-ray of her uh, leg, and they unfortunately found that she had a cancer affecting the leg and that cancer was eating away at the bone. And this was the reason she was getting so much pain. Uh, when I heard about it and when everyone around me heard about it, it had made us really angry because we felt that uh, the doctors had been treating her symptoms but had not been trying to find out what was causing the symptoms, what was the underlying problem that caused the symptoms. So we all got very angry and we said, look, you know, that's terrible. How can you be so silly? Why didn't someone do the x-ray before to find out what the problem was? Why did they just try and treat her with um, tablets to mask the symptoms? So I was reflecting on that, you know, very angry, but then I started realizing that actually isn't that what I do and what a lot of my colleagues do in medicine, you know. Uh, so maybe, you know, we see a person with blood pressure and we think, OK, this is a disease. We treat uh, the blood pressure as a disease and we give some medications to control the numbers and make the numbers look prettier. I suspect blood pressure is not a disease. I suspect for a large number of people, blood pressure is a symptom. High blood pressure is a symptom. Uh, and basically, it is probably a symptom of the body being under undue duress. The body is probably not being fed the right stuff. The body is not getting enough exercise. The body is being uh, not rested enough. I sleep is inadequate and the body is put under excessive amounts of stress. And that over a prolonged period of time could cause the blood pressure to go up. And the blood pressure then would be a symptom of an unhappy, unhealthy body. What do we do? We look at the blood pressure, we measure the blood pressure, we say, oh, your blood pressure is high, let's treat it with some tablets. And what we have basically, all we have done is we haven't taken the underlying problem out. We have just masked the symptom, I made the number, the blood pressure number look a bit nicer. The problem with that is that the patient thinks, okay, these tablets are sorting me out, There's, that's as good as it gets. They don't alter their lifestyle, they don't necessarily change their eating habits or their, reduce their stress levels, etc. And then what happens? And then uh, the patient starts developing diabetes, the blood sugars go up. Again, maybe the blood sugars going up are again a symptom of this unhappy, unhealthy body, which was never tackled with those blood pressure tablets. So now what do we do? The patient comes to us with blood sugars which are elevated. We say, oh, you have diabetes, let's treat the diabetes and we give the patient more tablets to make the numbers look a bit nicer. We haven't really sorted the underlying problem. Then what happens is the patient comes in um, with a heart attack, for example. Maybe the heart attack is also a symptom of this underlying unhappy, unhealthy body. But we look at this and we say, oh, you have diabetes and high blood pressure. That's why you had the heart attack. 
well, if that were the case, then what was the purpose of treating the diabetes and the high blood pressure if you're still going to have a heart attack? And therefore, to my mind, I think we're doing things wrong. I think we should uh, talk to our patients. I think we should think of these things as symptoms and we should then ask ourselves, what is the underlying problem? Why are these symptoms manifesting? And let us try and tackle the patient's lifestyle. Let's talk to the patient, let's educate the patient, let's empower the patient to make choices which are right for them. And in the hope that if you can actually take the patient, um, reduce their stress levels, allow them to get into good habits where they're sleeping better, where they're eating healthier, where they're getting regular exercise, where they're trying to be as socially integrated as possible because social integration is really good for our health, um, then actually we may prevent high blood pressure from developing. Maybe we will then prevent diabetes from developing and maybe that is the way we prevent heart attacks from happening. Um, so I'm really, really passionate about this subject. I, I definitely think there's too much of tablet pushing uh, happening. You know, people are pushing pills uh, at patients and they're not really tackling the underlying cause. We're treating symptoms. We're not treating the cause of those symptoms. And therefore, I think it is really important to educate uh, patients out there and say, look, you know, if you have high blood pressure, always ask yourself, is this high blood pressure a symptom? And if it is a symptom, is my body unhappy in some way? Am I putting it under excessive amounts of duress? Am I really looking after it as well as I should? And if you're not doing that, is perhaps the most beneficial thing, far more beneficial than just taking a bunch of tablets which make the numbers look nicer. So again, I think, um, I think this is an important message. I would be so grateful if you would consider sharing it with your friends, particularly in places um, like India and Africa, where uh, maybe the healthcare system is not as, you know, the, the healthcare systems are not as advanced, where people aren't as aware about uh, this. Uh, I, I think it's really uh, useful to spread this message so that people feel empowered and they feel that they're um, able to ask their doctors questions about how to prevent disease from happening rather than just masking the symptoms. So if you've enjoyed this video, I'd be so grateful if you'd consider sharing it. I'd be so grateful if you'd consider subscribing to my channel, which is Your Cardiology on YouTube and visiting my Facebook page, which is Your Cardiology One. I'm doing a heart health seminar in New York on the 4th and 5th of August 2018. If you visit www.hearthealthweekend.com, uh, you can register there. But I would so, so, so love to meet you all. Thank you so much. All the best.